Today we will discuss how to determine the focal length of a concave mirror using a pin. To do this experiment, we need an optical bench. Optical bench is provided with a pin stand. It is also provided with a mirror holder. Let us mount the concave mirror vertically on the mirror holder. The mirror stand has an adjustable screw by which we can move the mirror holder horizontally as per our requirement. The mirror stand can be moved on the rail. In the same way, pin stand also can be moved. On the road, the scale is calibrated with a least count of 0.1 cm. To start with, we have to fix the mirror at a desired position. Here it is fixed at 20.0 cm mark. Please note it down. Now we have to bring the pin closer to the mirror. Adjust the height of the pin so that the tip of the pin is at the level of the pole of the mirror. This height may be adjusted later if required. Now we can see the magnified and erect image of the pin. Looking at the image, move the pin away from the mirror. At times, the image may go out of the field of view. To get the image again in the field, turn the mirror slightly or adjust the screw. When we move the pin farther away from the mirror, the image gets inverted. This image is magnified one. We need the inverted image same size as that of the object. On further distancing the pin from the mirror, at a certain position, the image size becomes almost equal to that of the object. At this position, it is expected that tip of the image must coincide the tip of the object. You can see, for one particular angle of view, the tips coincide, but not for all the angles. That means there is parallax error. This parallax error must be removed. On further adjusting the distance, the tip of the image coincides the tip of the object. Now, we feel that image and object shifts together. When you do the experiment, close one of your eyes and observe. Now you can see that the tips are coinciding on the right side and when you look from another angle, these tips move together. See, on the left side also, tips are coinciding. And below and above, in all the cases, you will get the feeling that these tips are moving together. That means parallax error is removed and this is the position of the pin we need. Here the reading comes to be 55.9 cm. The difference between the positions of the mirror and pin gives the radius of curvature of the mirror and half of the radius of curvature gives the focal length. You can repeat the experiment by changing the position of mirror. Let it be at 25.0 cm. Now readjust the position of pin to get the final image. Take 5 sets of reading and find the mean focal length. Write your final answer correct to one decimal place.